Hi, in this video I will show how self-registration add-on works in Splink software. There is a form that we can customize and in this form customer enters his details. Also, he chooses the internet plan as the password to access his internet portal and types the details like the full name, uh, street, address, city and the details that we define in the add-on. Let's fill in the form and confirm it. After confirming, it will immediately create the user in Splinks, but before creation, the user himself should place the code that was sent to his email. Because my email is not active here, mail server doesn't work here on that installation, I can just check my email logs and find the code. Yeah, the code is here, that's the email that is sent to the client. And now the client enters the code and confirms. So his registration on the network is successful. Now his account was created and he should obtain the username and password for PPPoE access. He can log in using his email address and the password that he specified during registration and see his details his services, invoices, pay the invoice online. So the customer was added to Splink system. Here we can find the services that 20 max internet service is active for price of $20. And there is a list of invoices, documents, everything available. If we go back to the administrative part, we can see that the customer ID 13 was added and the client was added to the system and was moved to status active and the service was created with the start date of today. This is the self-registration using the sign-up sign form. We can also activate the social login registration. So here we have the registration form. When we click sign up, it's again the same form as before, but we can click the Facebook, for example, and customer will use his Facebook account and it will link the Facebook account to his login to the Splinks portal immediately. Again, customer chooses his service, puts information about himself that we need to get uh, to prepare the contract and activate the client, and then he sign signs in. Successful. Now customer can log into the system and uh, here he can find his details. You can see that it's his uh, details that he filled in the form and also it's linked to his Facebook account. When we go back again to the administrative part and refresh, we see that the new customer number 14 was added with the details and internet plan. That's all, thank you for your time.